What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. Today we are actually on the beach and we're going to attempt to catch a fish. Do I think we're going to? Who knows? We'll be really cool too, but we have this brand new rod. I want to try it out. I want to see how it is and uh, hopefully I catch some fish. Beautiful day. I'm actually sweating right now. <laughs> oh, that sun is intense. Uh, I don't know the tides. I was just out. I had a couple hours to spare, so I decided to why not just head out to the water. We had everything with us in the truck. We're going to see what happens and uh, it's sun's going down in about an hour so we don't have too much time. Maybe we'll go night fishing but this is the first time that we're actually making a fishing video instead of just sitting around and talking. But uh, those have been fun videos. We'll have some more of those but uh, the weather's just getting too nice and people are posting pictures of fish and I can't I can't hold it any anymore. So we're gonna try to catch some fish right now. See what happens. We started out here on the ocean, took a couple casts already. Beautiful dead calm northeast winds, so we'll see. Let's go. Have an incoming tide hopefully that's good um, usually you want an outgoing tide in the late evening or afternoon because that means all the water in the bay has been sitting and warming up but I guess I guess we, we got to work with what we have and that's colder ocean water flooding in but it could push some bait fish in and it could push some other fish in we'll see what we got super clear water Wind's not too bad. We're gonna start off with a swatter, see what happens. Uh, cover some water, put some rattle out there, maybe get some aggression. We'll see. If not, it's just great to be out, finally out on the water. It's been a very long winter. The smell of the salt air, the beach, the, the ocean, uh, all of it just makes me really, really happy. So if I catch a fish, that's just icing on the cake. But right now, I'm really excited to be out, super happy to be out. And I'm sure whenever you guys go out for your first time, you will be too, so. Let's quit chatting and see if we can catch some. Let's go. Sun's going down pretty soon, so it's gonna get cold. I am not prepared for that, but it was fun to come out for a little bit. We're gonna try to uh, maybe try night fishing somewhere else because I know a lot of people are catching a lot of good fish at night. So we're, we're gonna give night fishing a shot. I got all my black and purples, I got my yellows. We got a good tide, good moon. So hopefully we catch something later on tonight. But until then, let's enjoy, <laughs> let's enjoy this because it's been a long time. All right, I'll see you when it's nighttime. So I'm sure one of the first things that you noticed in that video is that it's super, super windy, but this is exactly what we want. We have dead low tide, so we need a little bit of something going on so it's not just a slick, calm, glass type water. So we're gonna have the incoming tide starting to begin very shortly. Uh, we got a north wind, which is gonna be right in our face because we're fishing south shore, back bay. So we're gonna be facing this wind. We got the uh, custom rod so we're gonna be throwing a 10 foot and hopefully some big old swatters and creeping it for some stripers there's a lot of guys here so I'm assuming word got out that there's some fish so we might be in luck this is a very good this is very good weather right now so we got that north wind incoming tide 80 degree day so hopefully that did something and pushed some bait fish into the shallows and we just have more stripers and hey maybe some bluefish going back here in the back bay but I'm gonna get ready and hopefully get onto some fish. Wow. 
Well, we've been out here for like an hour. We've moved to a bunch of different spots and it's, uh, it's really, really windy. And it's like at the perfect angle to where it's like burning my eyes. So we're gonna try to find some other spots to fish, maybe with the wind to our back or maybe a cove where the wind could be pushing into, but we don't know how much longer nothing is gonna work. Let's go. So we, uh, we traveled a distance, walked for about 45 minutes, and now we're in this new area. I don't know if we're gonna catch anything. The wind is insane. Found this little pocket where the wind is blowing into, so I'm gonna put on a swim bait because my treble hooked SP minnow is uh, catching too much on the bottom. But I am sweating now. Hopefully the tide doesn't come up too high to where I can't really get out. Because we walked a real distance. We didn't see any fish. We saw, actually, I didn't catch any fish. I saw two fish come up. They were little microscopic things though. Uh, they were only in one spot and that spot still has people there. So I'm gonna call it, it's been a couple hours. It's been about maybe an hour since I last talked to the camera. Uh, we took some casts with some swim baits, uh, swarters, SPs, and uh, top waters. Couldn't get anything to bite. I think maybe we're still a little bit too early. I don't. I don't see how or why, but maybe the end of this week, we're gonna catch something for sure. It's just didn't happen today. So let's go home, make a plan for the next day, because tomorrow I think we're gonna head a little bit farther west than where we are right now and see if we can get something maybe in the ocean or an inlet. Got a lot of walking to do this week. I'm about to get in shape, <laughs> some sort of shape. Let's go. Found an antler though, so that's pretty cool. It's a cold one. It's a little bit later than we've caught bluefish in the last couple of years. And I'm kind of expecting to catch them. We got the same tide that we normally catch them this time of year. So I'm really expecting something to happen today. 
I don't know if we're gonna actually see something. Uh, we had a warm burst for a couple days and then all of a sudden it got back into the 40s and it's really, really chilly now. Wind's blowing in my face. But we got the custom rod with us. We're gonna try SPs, swatters, mag darters, swim baits, anything to try to catch some fish. We got a couple hours left in this tide and then we're gonna go somewhere else if it doesn't work and see if there's something there. But I think I'm all set. Got my backpack, cameras, gotta get the custom. Let's go. So I'll link AJ down in the uh, description down below this video. He made this awesome custom rod for me. It's a prototype. So uh, go give him a follow to see what's happening with this and some stuff in the future. Good stuff. So before we head out, we got a couple things in our favor. We have overcast, we have wind, which is moving the water a little bit more too. We have moving water to begin with, and that's some of my favorite times to fish for bluefish and striped bass in general, is with moving water. We, we just get to be able to swing our baits a little bit better, a little bit more natural, instead of just trying to pull something through a dead calm area. But like I said, we're gonna try the swatters, mag darters, swim baits. Uh, if something goes crazy, we're gonna do top water, of course. But we'll see what happens. We got the birds chirping, and uh, nature itself is in our favor, except for the temperature. I don't know if that's gonna affect it, but we'll definitely give it a shot. Worth the shot. As I'm sure you all know, the beach is never the same every single year. So from what I experienced last year and the year before and the year before that, Every single spring, every first time you're at a new spot, it's completely different. If there's current and there's big waves and stuff like that, ocean side, bay side, whatever it might be, you get storms all throughout the winter, all throughout the fall, and then the spring storms too. So not everything is gonna be the same as last year. So I'm gonna try to figure out how this water is moving, how it's gonna be, what everything looks like on the bottom, or at least feels like on whatever the low tide or high tide that I'm gonna be here for. So I'm gonna try last year's stuff, see if it works, see if it feels the same, looks the same, and then I'll improve from there. Gotta do it every single year, every single storm too. I think the cool thing about fishing is that you never know what you're gonna expect. I mean, I have logs and logs and logs of experiences from the last at least four years, and it's all completely different. You know, usually this time of year, or way earlier, we're slamming a lot of bass, and a lot of people got a lot of bass out west. But out here, you know, this is the time when we start seeing a lot of fish come in at night and we're catching 36, 37, 40 inch fish, which is weird because, I mean, it's April, <laughs> but we're not doing that. I don't know if maybe something just switched in the fish where they're just not coming in at the same tides, or I mean, the water temperature is the same. It's been a little bit warmer this year, but I guess we had that deep freeze in the winter for a couple weeks and I was gonna do a lot of you know regular fishing that way but that deep freeze came in and 
Maybe that affected where bait was up here. Maybe bait moved down a little bit further. I don't know, I'm not a biologist, but it's just something to uh, encourage doing a log for because even when we're not fishing, I, I guess I gotta start doing that too because if that deep freeze did affect something, I wanna make sure I have that logged down instead of, hey, I didn't catch fish this year on this day with these temperatures when every other year, this day, this temperature, this tide usually works. I gotta make sure that even over the winter, hey, we had a deep freeze for like four weeks, the year, three years before, we didn't even have any snow, you know? So, I don't know. It's a game. Just trying to figure out how to play the game better every single year. Well, I have no idea what the heck is going on. I mean, I've gone out what, four or five times and I've been skunked every single time. There's only been one time that I actually saw bait in the water and that was a bunch of glass seals, a bunch of spearing, a bunch of little killies and some bunker getting eaten by some seagulls or cormorants. Um, and that was really it. it. I mean, there's, I don't know what's going on. I mean, this time of year, usually catching fish like it's crazy and it just seems to be very, very slow for me. I mean, all of my friends that I see on Instagram and Facebook, they're posting stuff, but they're way out west. I don't know if the bait's just sitting out there and it hasn't moved in here. I have no idea. Guys are catching sporadic little small ones out here by me, which could just be holdovers coming out of the creeks and rivers and, and stuff like that. So they couldn't even, I don't know, they might not even be um, migratory fish, but if you guys are, dealing with a similar situation where normally you're going out and catching fish, let me know in the comment section below because I'm starting to believe that I just forgot how to catch striped bass. So if you have the same problem, let me know. Let's share the encouragement of it's the fish and not me. I think that would benefit me very much and I'm sure you guys as well. I know a bunch of you are catching fish out west. I know a bunch of those bays are are doing really good. The Hudson, the Raritan, Jersey's on fire right now. So it's really only a matter of time before we actually start seeing fish. This whole week's forecast for as far as weather looks really good temperature wise, supposed to be in the high 50s and low 60s every single day. However, it's dropping down to the 30s a couple nights. So I don't know how that's gonna affect anything. Hopefully it just keeps fish in the bays where it's warmer during the days. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Hopefully we get a fish on really soon. I'm really looking forward to, to bending the rod and hearing some drag spin, especially the new custom. I wanna see uh, how some 15 pound bluefish handle on these things. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's not always about catching fish, although we want it to be. I had a great time every single time I went out. Good to see some stuff. Good to be out on the water, taking casts, being with some of the bait, and, you know, just seeing something at least is encouraging. And it's way better than coming home after work, going to sleep, waking up, going to work, coming back home, going to sleep. At least there's something that I can do, and that's going out fishing, hoping to catch something. Also, if you're in the market for some more soft plastics, some swim baits, some terminal tackle, like jig hooks, um, swim bait hooks, stuff like that. I have frog togs, 15% off, link down below, poly15 is the promo code for frogtogs.com for anything off of their website for 15% off. And Sixth Sense is GRBF, and so is Waterland, the promo code is GRBF. But for Sixth Sense, 
you get 10% off of whatever you get on their website with that code. And on Waterland, you get 15%. So go get yourself some new gear. And if you're in the market for some bucktails, I'll link the website down below, smoochandrelease.com slash shop. That's where you can get some of my hand-tied custom bucktails down below. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water. We'll see you next time. Bam.